Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is the CSS problem set, two sets. The key point in this problem is we need to divide the number from 1 to n into two sets of equal sum. We will be given with a number n. And we need to divide that into two parts. That means this n will be from 1 to n and we need to divide their sum into two equal sets for instance let's say the number is 3 that means from 1 to n up to 3 we need to divide these integers into two sum into two sets such that both sets have equal sum so this can be divided into two sets like this 1 then 2 and this 3 both have equal sum that is 3 and 3 so this is what we need to do and if this is possible if the division into two sets of equal sum is possible then we need to create these sets and if it is not possible then we need to print no let us look and analyze some examples suppose n is 1 n is 1 that means it can't be divided further into equal sum because 1 is there and it can't be it can't be into separated into two set, sets then let's check for 2 that means 2 n is 2 that means from 1 to 2 it can also be not possible to divide because their total sum is 3 and you can't break this total sum into two sets hence this is also not possible let us look for another when n is 3 that means from 1 to 3 1 2 3 their total sum is 3 plus 2 5 and 6 so their total sum is 6 now is it possible yeah because you see you can divide 6 into two parts such that each contains sum of 3 how can it be possible you make one and two group which is sum 3 and you make another which contains only a single integer 3 so this is how it is possible all right let us look for 4 sum is 10 so sum is 10 that means 10 can be divided into two parts because 10 after 10 when divided by 2 gives a integer and it can be separated like this 1 and 4 and 2 and 3 their sum is here 5 and their sum is here 5 so it is possible let's go for when n is 5 so we will having the numbers from 1 to 5 1 2 3 4 5 then sum comes 15 is it possible to divide this 15 into 2 this will result in 7.5 7.5 how are you going to manage this 7.5 point, uh, that is you can't manage this half because you have positive integers you don't have any fractions so it can't be possible let us look for 6 number is from 1 2 3 4 5 and up to 6 sum is 21 Again, 31 when divided by 2 doesn't uh, give us the remainder 0. So it is not possible. It leaves uh, the decimal. Let us look for 7. 7, 1 to 7. Sum is 28. 28. 28 can be divided because 28 divided by 2 results in 14. A positive integer. And uh, it can be separated into 14 14 now let's look for 8 
numbers from 1 to 8 and the sum is 36 of course then this is also can be possible because 36 divided by 2 gives us 18 and this is possible divided into two sets so we need to check two things here first we need to check is it possible is it possible to divide into to divide into two sets uh, the logic uh, is quite clear here from the these examples when sum is even then you can of course break it breaking is possible but when it is odd then it leaves the decimal and you can't break So it can't be broken. So these two things are clear. Then secondly, second we need to do is we need to if it is possible, if possible, then we need to make the sets. Let us look how we can make the sets. Now here is a complete uh, representation with the blocks let us analyze for a num n is 8 when n is 8 we can write the number from 1 to 8 this is written now i have written in reverse we will see why and the total sum of these number is 36 and 36 its uh, mid value will be 18 this is 18 18 so now let us make the two set this is the first set this is the second set and try to fill and understand the logic we are starting from the back because it would be easy if i fit the largest number in one set so first of all this number 8 will come and we'll see if 8 is less than mid mid is 18 yeah this is less so we will feed it now 8 has been feeded and our mid is no more 18 because you have given a weightage in one set this is first and this is second and this is the mid value 18 so, but now this is not a mid because you have given weightage in one set. So, we need to change the mid so that it again balances. So, mid was 18 will minus the number 8 because this you have used. So, this will give 10. Now, we will check this mid, mid will be 10 and now number will be 7. We are here 7. 7 is also less than 10. So, we will feed 7. 7 will come here now you have feeded the number 7 and now the mid is no more 10 right this 18 minus it, it mid was 10 mid was 10 so it is no more 10 it is now you have feed it 7 so it, it will be 10 minus 7 it will be 3 now, now mid is 3 that is erase first and will pick the next number which is this now we will check our mid is here let me write it freshly mid is 3 and we are at num 6 all right so we will check now 6 is less than equal to 3 no it is greater then we will feed it in second one which is 3 which is a number is number num is 6 so we should fill 8 and 7 was filled number was 6 so we will fill 6 mid is 3 let me write here mid is 3 and num is we were at num at 6 right yeah so we have feed it in this another one now since we have 
we did the largest large sum to balance this we are not subtracting here because we have already feed it and made this large so to balance that we need to increase the sum of this set this the balance of this set all right so let us now mid is mid mid was three it, it is three and it has not been changed because we are balancing now this set so now num will be five num is five we will check five is less than equal to three no we'll feed in this one now num will become four four is less than three yeah it is less than it is not it is not so it is not four is not less than three so we will feed in this one now we will come to three is three less than equal to three yeah it is equal so we will feed in this one in this one and we'll make mid now mid was three number was three and this was this has mid has become zero that means we have successfully made the half half sum in this one that is 8 plus 7 plus 3 is 18 so we have successfully made this number and we have made the mid as 0 mid is now 0 and we'll start feeding in this one so mid is 0 mid is 0 now num will number 2 will come 2 is not equal not 2 is not less than 0 so we will feed in the other one and similarly when num will 1 this will also be feed in so this is now 18 so our main aim was to feed in one set and make it keep utilizing the number and as soon as the mid becomes 0 that means we have successfully filled this set and we will keep the other in this set so let us write the code of this okay so let's code this and we need to contain uh, we need to get input and integer n so let's initialize the variable n and get the input from the user now We have the number and we need to create the uh, the sum of till here the first n natural numbers so we know the formula so we are going to sum up from 1 to n let's create some variable which has 0 and then sum is what is the formula n into n plus 1 and this whole divided by 2 so we have the sum of the number and this we are doing to check if it is even then the it can be divided into two sets if it is odd, not odd then we are not going to then it can't be divided into two sets so let's check for the sum if sum is even that is sum mod 2 is equal to equal 0 that means it can be divided and we can get two sets and if it is odd else then we need to di display simply no we need to do and keep a line this we need to do so if it is possible if the sum is even and sum is even that means if it is possible so we will calculate the mid and first of all we are going to print yes because it is possible and leave a line then we we are going to calculate the mid so let's create a mid and that will be sum divided by 2 now we need to run a loop from n equal to 8 till 1 and start filling filling the sets so let's run a loop from i equal to n i is less than i is greater than equal to 1 because we need to go till 
1 and i plus plus here we will check what we need to check if the number if that number is i here if the number is less than equal to mid then put in this set otherwise put in this set so we have not initialized the vector right so we need to initialize the set so let's define it vector ll let's make it and define it by set one and we can make other one also here so how do you use vector i have made a separate video and you will and you will get the link in the description so you can check that video from there so let us use this vector so i will say if the number is less than mid then what you need to do you need to put this in this set in this set in blue one so let's put so set one or push back this number and make the mid make the mid mid minus number so mid mid minus i if it is not less than the mid then put in this second set so set two dot push back the number i and that's all we have done now we need to print two things first the size of the set one and its content then size of second and its content the second set so let us print those all here we will, huh, so we'll start with first first set one dot size and we'll leave a line then we need to print the content so we'll go like this and set one dot size we can also use the range based for loop that is colon one but i am using this one so i'll write to use this and we will print the contents now set one the position i and we are done now we'll leave a line then we'll do this the same thing for set 2 this here we'll write set 2 and we'll make set 2 and set 2 that's all we need to do and we need to also give the space between them so all right so i think we are done let's submit this any mistake let us see no um, when it is no then there is no need to give a line so we can remove this and it is giving a runtime error why it is giving maybe because somewhere yeah that is because we have not decremented this i is n and i is i will never be going to decrement so i should do minus minus that's what it is going infinite Okay, so let's run it again. And test accepted. Alright, so we'll meet you in the next video.